Okay, today I will be doing a walkthrough on how to update your frame pack into frame pack F1, which was released on 4th of May 2025. This new model has a slightly faster generation sp speed, which I will demo later, and a better prompt adherence and logical output. Kind of like the model is a little bit smarter than the non F1 variant. F1 means forward 1 which means instead of the previous frame pack that generates the end frame first before piecing what's in between together, the F1 model generates each step as it moves forwards instead, which gives a better overall result. This setup will be done on my RTX 5070 Ti GPU with PyTorch 2.7 for QDA 12.8. This is a setup that works for all Blackwell GPU series uh, be it RTX 5060, 5070, 5080, or 5090. Before we proceed, you need to first install a normal frame pack and reinstall PyTorch 2.7 before we can upgrade it. So if you haven't installed frame pack yet, I suggest watching my previous video on how to install frame pack for the RTX 50 series first before coming back to this video. Before we begin the walkthrough, I would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. First, go to your main frame pack folder, double click update. Although mine has already been updated, you will see something like this, uh, whereby it shows the demo gradio f1.py, which means that it is updated. Don't click run.bat yet, as you need to modify the script first before running it. Go to the Framepack F1 discussion page on GitHub, which I will leave in the description below. Scroll down and you will see there is a need to change the command from demo underscore gradio.py to demo underscore gradio underscore f1.py. Make a copy of run.bat as a backup in case you screw, screw up anywhere. Uh, right click on the default run.py and click edit in notepad. Copy the command for demo gradio f1.py and replace it with the old line with the f1. Save the file and double click it to run. And wait for it to download the new models which is going to take a long while. Once that is done, we see the title has changed to Frame Pack F1, which means that we are running on the new model and it is a success. So let's run this with a consistent parameter and see the difference. At the end of a generation using a 1400 by 768 pixel image with T cache on with the same seed at 5 seconds and 25 steps. It takes me about 2 minutes 30 seconds to generate every second of video at the speed of 6 seconds per iteration. Now let's compare this with the non-F1 model which took me about 2 minutes 55 seconds and generate at 7 seconds per iteration. F1 is a little bit faster than the previous version. Next, we can look at the quality comparison. The F1 model seems to be a little more consistent in quality, while the non-F1 model kind of distorts the sword pretty badly. So with that, I end today's short video showing how to install Frame F1 on your RTX 50 series GPU using PyTorch 2.7. Next, I will be trying to install Sage Attention for the RTX 50 series using PyTorch 2.7. I have yet to find a clear instruction on how to do it, so I will be doing a testing using a theoretical method that I came up with to install it. Whether it works or not, I do not know, so stay tuned for it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. Until then, I will see you when I see you.